Hi, I'm Sarah. Um, and first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to the guys at Product Testing for sending me the um, Apple iPad Air 2. Um, here's my summary of my review. Really loved the packaging it arrived in, um, similar to the iPhone packaging actually, because uh, we've got an iPhone at the moment. And it was just really sleek, nice box, all fitted together really well. Um, and definitely kind of a box that you would keep um, to keep all the bits that come with the iPad in, because uh, it's really compact and well thought out. Um, got the plug and everything, and it all just fitted together really well. Um, the iPad itself, uh, I was really happy with the colour. I went for the space grey because um, I've already got a silver Mac and a white iPhone, so I thought I'd mix it up a bit. Um, very simple design, kind of similar to the iPhone in that way. Um, went for the black edging, something a bit different as well. Um, really kind of like the smooth bezel around the edge. The whole kind of look is really sleek and easy to um, hold. And I like the little metallic apple on the back. Um, but I am a bit nervous about getting it scratched. So um, I think I will be getting a case soon for it. Um, my favourite thing actually about the iPad as opposed to my iPhone is that you've now got the Touch ID, uh, which my iPhone doesn't have. So you can just, I programmed it so I just hold my finger on and I'm in. And obviously that's super secure because it doesn't work for anyone else. You can still do the uh, number entry as well, if you like. Um, so that was one of the first things I set up, which was really, really easy, just go to settings. I'm not particularly good with technology and I managed it fine, so it was all good and you can set as many fingerprints as you want. Um, and then in terms of, I mean, the whole interface of it was just really sleek and quick and um, it was actually really quick to download all the apps because um, through iCloud you can just go onto the App Store and there was an option where I could just download all the apps which I'd already had on my iPhone. Um, so that was really super quick and easy. Um, the one thing I'd say which was not so great is some of the apps obviously designed for the iPhone and they haven't really transferred them for the iPad yet. Um, so like I'll show you an example, it's like the Vine app. Um, so you can obviously, you can make it big for the iPad, but it's obviously a bit blurry. It doesn't, it's not as good as it is on the iPhone. And then this is obviously the size it's meant to be. So it's kind of, you can, you can make it suitable for the iPad, but it's not as sleek as the other apps. But obviously that's something that they'll work on over time as they develop the iPad further. So one of the things that I use the most on um, my iPhone is the camera. Um, I'm always taking quite a lot of photos, so I was really interested to see um, the quality of the camera on the iPad. Um, and I was actually really impressed. Uh, that's me. It's obviously quite dark in here, so it's actually not as good as it has been outside. But um, in terms of quality, it's really good. The one thing I'd say is it's obviously quite awkward compared to the iPhone to take photos because it's obviously a bit heavier and bigger to hold. So, I mean, if you're just taking a photo upright like that, it's fine. Um, but if you're wanting to take something with like one hand, like a selfie, <laughs> um, it's quite difficult because obviously it's heavier. So you can't really hold it. Um, and also I just think if you're outside, um, it's just a bit more awkward with the iPad if you're holding loads of stuff. And it's just not quite as um, versatile and portable as the iPhone, but then obviously that's kind of the nature of it. Um, just kind of comes with the iPad being a bit bigger. Um, but one thing which I loved about it was that as soon as you take a photo on the iPad, because um, you can link your Mac and your iPad and your iPhone all by the iCloud. So as soon as I've taken a photo on the iPad, it will appear on my photo stream on my phone and also on my Mac um, and vice versa. So um, that was really good and that's obviously going to encourage a lot of people to get all three products because often if you're getting loads of different devices, everything gets more complicated and you're losing stuff on all the different three devices. But this way it's kind of all on the one iCloud, so you can just pick up any device and um, you've got the same stuff on there, which is really good.
as I was saying, it's great how um, you can switch easily between devices with the iCloud. Um, but what I was quite excited to use with um, this new feature, um, which has just been brought in uh, by Apple, is the handoff feature, um, where basically you can be doing work on the iPad or like browsing on Safari and um, you're on a web page and then you can just lock it and then you're meant to be able to then on a new device um, transfer it straight over and start working on a different device exactly where you left off um, on the same web page. So I was trying to set it up um, but I couldn't actually get it to work. Um, I got it to work once and it was really cool. Um, but the other times the icon just didn't appear um, and you've obviously you've got to have Wi-Fi on and Bluetooth and be on the same Wi-Fi network with them and that I found drains the battery obviously more than if it was off so that was a bit disappointing it's obviously something that they've only just introduced so I'm sure they'll kind of develop it um, over time um, and if anyone can shed some light on how to get it to work better then let me know um, but yeah, that's kind of the one negative thing about that. Um, so obviously another of the things I was really looking forward to using with the iPad, um, rather than the other Apple devices I have, is watching movies on it um, and TV programs on Netflix, uh, which obviously you can use if you've got it connected to um, the Wi-Fi. You can stream directly from it and um, it's obviously nice and portable, so you can just watch it anywhere, um, but obviously on a nice bigger screen than the iPhone. And the quality of the screen I found was really good. You can have a look. Um, really nice and crisp, clear image. Um, I'm really quick at um, downloading and streaming as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think I definitely want to get a case for it so you can prop it up properly to watch it. Um, so it's a bit awkward to be holding it the whole time, but otherwise, really impressed. Would what we would be happy to watch this as much as I would be to watch TV, to be honest. So um, yeah, that's definitely something I'll be using a lot for the with the iPad. So yeah, overall with the iPad, uh, I was really happy with it. I think it it looks great. It runs really smoothly. Really easy to use if you're used to. Um, how apples um, work. Um, the one thing I'd say is um, regarding space on it. Um, once I downloaded my apps um, and some of my music, there wasn't that much space left. Um, and obviously this one is actually only useful with Wi-Fi. So if you wanna go out somewhere and download a film, then you're not left with that much space for your music. Um, I mean, I think what I probably do is I think you can get one which is four times more space for about 80 quid more. And I think when you're spending 399 anyway, I think I probably would just spend that extra 80 pounds for the um, for the extra space because it's a bit frustrating if um, you can't quite get everything on there. Um, in terms of battery life, really good. Um, I've been using it for two days now, um, kind of mid moderate use during the day, watched a few movies on it as well. I just had to charge it after two days, which I think is really good because my phone I usually charge like every evening uh, and the same with my Mac. So that's really good because obviously the iPad is something that's portable and you kind of want to be able to take out in the day without having to think about it being charged. Um, so yeah, really happy. I think with regards to the price, you get what you pay for. You can pay a bit more for the extra storage. Um, but I think at 399 um, I think, yeah, you're getting a really good deal. You're obviously paying for the Apple brand name as well, but I personally really like Apple products. I think they're really easy to use and you know you're getting a brand you can trust. So, um, yeah, highly recommend it.